guys so my name is Daniel let me show you uh, a really cool fish that it's very very known in the hobby and a lot of people love it. it's very affordable it's called the coral beauty scientific name is Centro Peach uh, Bispinosa uh, widespread all over the world we can see them in north of Australia we can also see it in Bali Indonesia all of those beautiful places so we got them in the first quarantine because this fish was just got on Friday and then they will all go into the second quarantine and, and after a few days usually 14 days of full treatment they will be good to go but uh, let me show you what I'm talking about so if, if you're a new if you're new in the hobby um, this is how they look like let me switch the camera There you are. Beautiful fish. They're kind of small. So they are uh, dwarf angels. Smaller than this, you will have the pygmy angels. And um, pretty easy to keep. You usually want to have them, in, say, in a 55 or 40 gallons. If they're small like that, if they're bigger, yeah, just give them a bigger tank. A lot of hiding spots. Uh, I do have two here together. But this is about a hundred gallons right there they're together I add them at the same time but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so you gotta keep an eye on them if they fight just just separate them there's small variations in between them some of them are more purple some of them are more orange it might be related with where they were collected and the depth so there's some micro variations in between them they eat a variety of food they are omnivorous so they eat from uh, algae all the way to small crustaceans and that's pretty much it crustaceans uh, and other small organisms see this one is pretty cool it's got some nice purple on the side so they they're susceptible to Pretty much any disease like uh, flukes, um, ache. So that's why I quarantine them. If you ever, every time you get a fish, you should quarantine them. They will fight with uh, other angels about the same shape and size. Something like, let's say, that's a pygmy. That's a pygmy flameback. Right there, that's uh, from Africa. Uh, they will definitely fight with uh, flame angels because it's about the same they're the same shape and size you can keep them with um, with tanks no problem see those fish over there they are purple tanks clownfish so there's a big variety of fish that you can keep them yellow tanks no problem look at that beautiful right Uh, what else? Let's see what kind of food uh, will, will they eat. What do we give them over here? What do we feed them? What do we feed them? Let's go. They can eat pellets. They can eat uh, a variety of frozen food for sure. So let me show you. Now we, we are here in the freezer area. So right here, you want to give them something that already has some algae because in the wild they go around and they nip at algae on the rocks. So angel form is already made for them. Uh, so he has a different bunch of different things from uh, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, uh, clams, mussels, seaweed, that kind of stuff. Um, brine shrimp plus, if you give them brine shrimp, definitely give them the enriched one. You can also give them. Um, uh, some uh, mussels, squid, a little bit of krill, definitely mysis shrimp, um, a seaweed delight, they will also eat that. What else would I recommend? If you want to save some money, you can give something like uh, I like to give them like a in pa flat packs, it's more affordable. 
polykids, they will also eat polykids. Polykids, they kind of sound very gross to us, but they love it. All fish pretty much loves it. Polykids are great. Polykids are like little worms, gonna give them fish eggs also. They will eat, also eat plankton. And also you want to give them a variety, a variety of different, uh, of different uh, foods. Um, let me show you something that they will definitely eat coral wise not coral wise but uh, so regarding coral you gotta keep an eye on them see if they will nip at corals or not but definitely definitely they will go after clams so this guy will definitely be doom or not we never know we never know it's not an exact science of uh, fish behavior but right here this the, the mantle will definitely be destroyed they also once the clams are getting stressed they actually release um, um, a byproduct like a, a muc, uh, like a mucus, and that is supposed to repel predators, but actually attracts hermit crabs. So your hermit crabs will be all over. Crazy excited! I'll be testing um, in this tank some um, big angels. See what do they eat exactly? And I'll bet they are right now. I got a, a, um, an S for Angel on it, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll try to do a video every day, so stay tuned, usually in the mornings. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye.